Okay, this is the medial surface of the cerebrum, that's the telencephalon. We can see here rostrally, you have the frontal gyri, you have the hospital gyri here, frontal hospital gyri, this one is more prominent, the frontal gyri, the hospital gyri, you have the splenium gyri, and the just ventral to the hospital gyri, then this is the this is the singlet gyri then we can see here we can see it more here this is the cruciate sulcus the cruciate sulcus and this structure you can see here but present in each of the cerebral hemisphere is called the corpus callosum the corpus callosum is divided into three it has three parts rostrally this is the rostral part we have the genome then we have the body, then the splenium, the, which is caudally located. Then again, prominent structures we can see here, we can locate our third ventricle and the fourth ventricle, and the connection between them. Here is the third ventricle. You can see it also here. Okay, not that very prominent here. The third ventricle. Then here is the intertalamic adhesion. Here is the third ventricle. Intertalamic attention. This is the fourth ventricle. This is the fourth ventricle. Here, between the third ventricle and the fourth ventricle, is the mesencephalic aqueduct. Just above the third ventricle and above the fourth ventricle, we have the we have the we have the choroid plexus. Then. Yeah, in contrast, well, yeah. Then here, well, in contrast to this, we have luminous. We have four luminous in the brain. So the cerebral lumina is the what lateral ventricle, which is below the what below the corpus callosum. Lateral ventricle is the lumina of the cerebrum. Then the lumina of the diencephalon, which is the what third ventricle, the third ventricle. Then the lumina of the mesencephalon is the what mesencephalic aqueduct and the lumen of the myelencephalon which is the medulla oblongata is the what fourth ventricle so these four luminous they are called flexors combined to produce the what cerebrospinal fluid cerebrospinal fluid